Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Dairy Dialogue. This week I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the milk comes from our family farm right up the road through our processing plant here in Gustine, Texas, and then gets put into bottles and sent out to your local grocery stores. Um, first of all, the milk shows up from our family operation. Uh, we only produce the highest quality milk on our farm and that gets sent in bulk tankers here to our processing facility. Once it gets here to our processing facility, we go through extensive testing to make sure that it's only the best quality milk coming in. As well. After that, we will receive the milk in into our bulk tanks, and from there we start our processing procedures. So one of the first things we do is actually separate the milk so that we can make the different um, fat contents of milk, such as like your 2%, your whole milk. Um, once we do that, uh, we actually get ready to batch it. One of the cool pro processes that we do here though is cold separation, which is a little bit different from our regular separation process uh, that most plants use. Um, we actually cold separate, which avoids pulling out some of the nutrients and, like vitamins and things like that, um, whereas other separation processes will end up pulling all of that out. Um, so our milk ends up retaining some of those vitamins. Um, after that, once the milk is separated, we actually put back together um, in the right fat contents, like a 2% and things like that, and then we batch it. So we actually add any of the flavors that you would add to it, um, such as your chocolate powders or your strawberry powders and things like that. Um, after that, we we'll pasteurize the milk. So we pasteurize using the HTSD method, which stands for high temperature, short time. So uh, the reason we do this, it's a little different than say a batch pasteurization method or ultra pasteurization. So we believe in not heating our milk to too high of temperatures because you run the risk of getting a cooked flavor in the milk. So flavor is really important to us. So we want to make sure that we don't have to go through the, uh, you know, get a off taste as well as um, like batch pasteurization, you hold it for a long period of time, which tends to give you a little bit of a different flavor profile. And so that's why we really stuck to the HTSD method. Once the milk is pasteurized, it actually goes in the tanks behind me. Um, once the milk gets into these tanks, we then pull it out, it goes through our filler, and then gets put into our glass bottles. Um, our glass bottles actually um, get reused all the time. So like you've seen our industrial bottle washer, our bottles will come back from the stores, we'll sort them by size, and then once they are sorted by size, we actually take those bottles, we send them through our industrial bottle washer, which soaks them in a chemical solution, which kills all the bacteria and then starts cleaning the bottle, as well as it turns them over, rinses the bottles out, really similar to what your dishwasher at home would do, um, but on a much larger scale and, and even higher sanitation procedures. Um, once the bottle's rinsed out, we actually, uh, sanitize those bottles and then they get put onto a conveyor line which then takes them right to our filler where we put our high quality milk into our bottles. Um, from there our bottles are sent out onto the uh, line where they're jetted with an inkjet to tell you what the best buy date is on the top of the lid and then from there they get put into crates and sent into the cooler where we continue doing our testing um, to make sure that we have the, only the best quality and everything is safe for you to drink and then from there we get put it on the trucks and sent to your store and you know the rest. Um, hope you enjoyed this week's Dairy Dialogue and stay tuned for the next one.